What is up, everybody? Sveinsen here, back with another MLB 9 Innings video. You may notice that this right here, this is not a uh, Cardinals deck. It's not the LA deck that I sometimes help out with. No, this is a Washington Nationals deck. It's one that I recently acquired. Uh, I've been thinking for a while that it'd be fun to make a team that is not the Cardinals. And, you know, I, obviously I helped out with my buddy's LA deck, um, but also everybody runs an LA deck and I didn't want to be, you know, if you want to see that, go check out Jfish, go check out, I think Fireballs has one, AK's retired, but you can go back and watch through his videos. Um, oh, haven't turned off power save on this yet. That's, that's one of the first things you should do. Uh, graphic power save mode off. Just gets annoying. Um, it'll pop on every once in a while. So, Washington Nationals, uh, first off, I don't think there was any big presence on YouTube for them. You know, I didn't want to tread on anybody's uh, turf here. Um, but also, they're a really cool deck to build. They have a lot of really cool cards. You know, Max Scherzer, they have Steven Strasburg, uh, Anthony Rendon, Juan Soto, Bryce Harper. Lots and lots of really good cards associated with this uh, deck. You know, when they went on that World Series run... Uh, they just got a lot of cool cards out of it, and they were a really good team throughout the 2010s, and a lot of the players that were there um, aren't anymore, but are still playing, so there's plenty of time to still, you know, acquire the cards. Uh, overall, you know, really, really fun deck to run, and one I'm really looking forward to. Uh, we are going to first take a look at what constitutes an end game Washington Nationals deck. After that, we are going to take a look at the team, and then we're going to run some, uh, make a plan for where we go from here, you know, how to make it better, uh, and then run some skill changes and packs, you know, just like, just like we should, you know, how, like how these videos should go. Let's, uh, take a look at the deck. Just taking a look at the lineup, uh, we see a couple things here. Yes, it has a Bryce Harper Sig. This is 2017. Not his best card, but it's a pretty good one. I haven't taken a look at all the skills here. It'll be like Sveinsen, why would you go buy a uh, deck if you don't really know what the skills are? And the point of this one is it's kind of a starter deck. It's really to work on building skills. I don't care where it's at right now. I just care about the potential it has. And with a lot of the cards on here, it looks like it has a lot of potential. So I know about two or three of the sets in here, but I don't know all of them. So first off, Bryce Harper, BM, Slugger Instinct, MBT. That's solid at 106 overall. Um, you know, eventually batting machine is, you're going to want something else. You know, maybe we go legend skills on this guy. It's not his best year. We'll figure that out when we look at what makes a good Washington deck. Chipper Jones up next, uh, 17 to the right training. We're going to have to fix that. Slugger Instinct, barrel it up. Um, so maybe this isn't the end of the world because he does have BIU and you want contact on it. Um, but again, something we're going to want to fix and we'll probably want to make him black diamond. Next up, this is one of the main reasons I'm excited about this deck. It has a Harmon Killbrew. This game or this card is no longer in the game. Uh, it's an awesome third base, one base card. Uh, again, so trainings on this deck are going to take a little bit of work. Uh, you know, a lot to the right side, but something that I can totally fix once I get the resources. Slugger Instinct Charisma Full Swing Hitter, a good, solid skill set. Doesn't need to change now, but since it's a legend, obviously, eventually, we're going to want to look for a uh, legend skill set on it. This is a card that I don't really want to be batter's chemistry. It's just such a good third baseman. Like, it could be, especially because... Uh, you know, we got Chipper Jones here, which is 3BDH. We got George Brett here, uh, which is third base. Um, you know, we could put first base, DH, third base, which I guess is what uh, is going on here. Um, but I would really like to get this card juiced out and usable. It's really cool. It's, it's it. This is really the reason I was interested in this deck is because it has Harmon Kilbrew. That's just a card that I don't expect to come back to the game. Uh, next up, we got Gary Carter, Batter's Chemistry. This is one of the sets I knew. Uh, I knew he had Batter's Chemistry, and I knew he had Car Spot with it. That's fine to hang out in the lineup for now. Eventually, uh, one of these guys is going to end up having it. Juan Soto, 20. I think that's his best year. 
Uh, again, retraining the cards, Charisma Spotlight. Um, yeah, that's fine. So not an immediate target for skill changes. Trey Turner, uh, 20. Is that his best card? I think it is because his speed is low. He might have a better year. Uh, it ain't over batting machine prediction. You know, that's going to need updating. Then we have George Brett, which is, you know, this is right here. This trio of legends is one of the reasons I'm really excited for this deck. You know, it's really cool to have multiple batting legends, especially with how high their potential can be. Um, I think if I'm going to have a target for batter's chemistry, it would be George Brett, just because, you know, Anthony Rendon has some really good years, especially if we pull a SIG. Um, you know, we'll probably want him at third base, Chipper at DH, and Kilbrew at first base. Um, especially since Zimmerman is out of the game and I can't pull him anymore. You know, I'm not going to be having that at first base. Uh, you know, George Brett is definitely the leading candidate to move to batter's chemistry, move that off of Gary Carter and get him a better set. Uh, and Gary Carter's stats are actually pretty good. It's always nice to have a good catcher uh, on the team. Victor Robles, uh, outfield, 2019. Pretty good card. Needs some training. Eh. Would probably consider I first on this card. But overall, um, we're gonna when we take a look later, we're gonna see if this is end game uh, outfield or if you know there's other cards we should be looking for. Uh, you know we have the Harper and we have the Juan Soto, so those are those are the two main outfielders we're looking for for the Nationals. Um, but you know there may be some better ones or better Robles here. Josh Harrison, uh, spotlight charisma table setter that's a pretty solid set uh low base overall um definitely not worth putting a lot of time into but yeah that rounds out our starters and i was talking about outfield and we get to the bench and look what we got here we have a tony gwynn super awesome this is another reason i bought it i don't actually have any supremes uh, i love tony gwynn um, he's one of my grandpa's favorite players, it's just awesome contact hitter. Uh, this card, you know, a lot of people are like, well, the power is really low on it, but you can totally make up with, with that through, uh, training. The main thing on Supremes is you want those first 20 levels to be really solid. You know, that sub 12 with a good distribution, right? Then you can really fine tune it the last 10 levels, but first 20, you got to get them pretty perfect. Off the cusp, this is my immediate candidate for a uh, free grade increase. So, pretty sick card. I'm super happy to have a Supreme. So, that's our batters. You know, it's Drupal Cabrera's here. Uh, we do have a Ryan Zimmerman, 2018. Kurt Suzuki at catcher, but I'm really glad he has Gary Carter. Or that we have... I, I say T, it's my deck. I'm really glad I have the Gary Carter, though, so I don't have to run Suzuki. And Anthony Rendon is obviously great, but this, this deck is loaded up on third baseman. Uh, okay, so going down the pitching lineup. So Ron Guidry first. Uh, no special training in there. Comes with Mess Finesse. He plus 9, plus 1 does not get Finesse bonus, so... Um, maybe not the best pitcher in there, but he's currently in the SP1 slot. Another reason I was excited to buy this deck is it has Max Scherzer 17. I have checked. This should be the best Max Scherzer year, or if not, it's very, very, very good. Um, really awesome pitcher. It comes with Bullpen Day Boss Touch. Uh, you know, you really want an elite starting pitcher here and this is a great sig you know you really want control master or slow starter at high levels don't know how long it'll take to get in the meantime i may consider just shorting bullpen day and maxing out boss and touch um and maybe this will be solid but i'm super excited for max scherzer and eventually we're gonna have to replace bullpen day there uh, Strasburg, 16, base 73. Don't think this is his best year, but I think it's a really good one. Comes with Inning Eater Untouchable. Bleh, not very good. Uh, Grave comes with Boss Winning Streak. 
um, base 68, then a carbon 19 at base 72. Uh, that's his that's his good year. He was really solid in 2019, especially in the postseason. Doesn't really have skills. So first spot, I'm looking like batters are looking great. Uh, or at least really good for 106 overall. So we're looking on on immediately. We want to get better at starting pitcher. Uh, next up, let's check out the bullpen. Uh, Melanson 16 is a base 68. This is a really solid relief pitcher card. Comes with winning streak, iron will, and inning eater. Um, meh, it's fine. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Um, if you check out my bullpen guide, that's not great for setup. Uh, then you have Doolittle 17, uh, another okay card. I think he has better years, um, but the base 64 is okay, mostly because it's offset by the uh, very low stamina and break. He wouldn't work with finesse. Like It would be almost impossible to get it on him. Um, something tells me that this train is going for finesse. No, uh, 22 on the break. We'll have to change that. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it needs some work. Plus nine, minus one. Maybe it could get Finn. Uh, but the base 64 isn't as bad as it looks just because the break and the stamina are so low. The, the other stats are really boosted through this great increase. Maybe he has better years, so. Another reason I bought this deck, first off, I don't like the Cubs, and I wouldn't run a Cubs legend, except for this one on my Cardinals team. The reason I'd run this one is because he's in the Hall of Fame as a Cardinal, and I know he won a Cy Young with the Cubs, but uh, they should have put him in as a Cardinal. Come on, guys. Um, he's a Cardinals Hall of Famer. That's how he went in. Really good card. Hard to get the finesse bonus on if you have it. He has Pitcher's Chem, Touch, and Winning Streak. So we do have Pitcher's Chem on this account. Maybe eventually I try to find it on another Relief Pitcher. But for now, i um, happy to have it, especially on a Legend. Uh, so we have both chemistries. That was a reason I was interested in this deck. So the skills I knew before looking here are the uh, Gary Carter skills with Chemistry and the Suter skills with uh, Chemistry and the Scherzer Bullpen Day. Um, yeah, the reason, the reason I, I went for this deck is I don't want to have to chase the chemistries again. I've done it. I have both chemistries on my Cardinals deck. I have both of them on my Guardians free to play. I don't really post videos about a deck and, um, yeah, I, and now I have both on this deck. I, I just don't want to do that chase again. Next up, Erasmo Ramirez, Fixer Mess. Yeah, that's fine. Um, honestly, not too horrible of a card. A Giles 19, and then a Trinan 16 is okay, not great. Then Travis, Travis, Trevor, Tanner, Tanner Rainey, uh, 2020. And he has Fireballer. So initially looking at this, I'm gonna put Suter where Rainey is. I wanna put Rainey in setup and um, find skills on one of these other relief pitchers. Probably, yeah. So that, that's my initial th thought. And actually, let's go do that. Let's just go to ranked. Um, another thing is it doesn't have all the ranked finish, but it does have a good amount of training done. You know, level six on focus and batting tee, finished with pitcher and batter muscle, which is really, really nice for this deck. So, um, I, that's another grind that I hate is the, is the rank training grind, but we can get it done. So let's go to this lineup and let's, let's fix this real quick. We want, uh, Rainy with, oh, Rainy with Fireballer, Control Artist, Power Pitcher. He's going to have a lot of velocity. Let's put him in, uh, setup one. Um, with Fireballer, let's put Winning Streak in Closer because he'll only come in with a lead. We may be able to do a quick little retrain on this to get him a better distribution for Winning Streak Touch. Uh, let's put... And these are all going to need work. Let's see. So this is Dom, Control Artist. Does he have another skill storage? Nope. 
Uh, let's check out Melanson. Melanson is a little bit better, and I guess he has streak. Yeah, so if he has a winning streak, then he'll get it active about half the time in setup. Um, okay, cool. Let's put Scherzer at our ace. Let's put... Um, let's see... Yeah, this this rotation needs work. Let's put U two. So Gidry three, then Gray, then Corbin. Um, we'll just run it there. Some people like to run their better pitchers lower down because when you go into ranked, it puts your number one against their number one, your number two against their number two, and so if it pulls your number, you know, three, four, or five, and your best pitchers there, you have a lot higher chance to win. Unfortunately, it also means you have a lot lower chance to win if you know the pull the number one spot. I just prefer to put my best against their best. Uh, it's um, more entertaining. Don't really want to change anything here off the cusp. Super excited to get that Gwyn GI'd with that free GI in, uh, yeah, 10 days. So then we just have to figure out pass forward. Who's getting skill change tickets? Who is getting uh, black diamond pieces? We've got eight league recharge balls. I'll have to run those uh, when I can. We've got some skill reset tickets if we want to on Mad Max. And who's going to get premiums? Hopefully we'll have a couple more of those by the end of this video. Uh, I'll have to look at primes. Ooh, I can exchange 400 of these points for a premium skill change ticket. We're going to want to do that because when I'm looking at this deck, I think he, I, I think when when I got it, they said it had a a prime I thought I had a prime Guerrero already, but maybe not. Maybe he's in backup. Might not. Yeah, so there's Guerrero there. Yeah, okay, cool. Prime Washington Guerrero, so we don't need to pull that one. Um, don't need a Prime Mad Max. We already got that. We already got the SIG. I don't think they really have other primes, but we can check. We can check. And that's what we'll go do. Let's go take a look at what an end game deck looks like for this team. Uh, so this is the best lineup from uh, MLB, or it's just nine innings companion. So let me go take a look at this. Uh, Washington card types. Yeah, this is just going to show us. We don't care about legendary vintage. We don't care about Supremes. This is just going to show us what an end game uh, lineup looks like. There are two types that you can sort of buy OVR, which is just how many stats the card has, or AOVR, which is a special calculation the website does to determine which cards have better, you know, desirable stats rather than just, you know, someone who has 2,000 stamina would be a super high OVR, um, but the AOVR would be very low. Um, it's not perfect. It doesn't quite, uh, the way I prefer it is if it has higher on batters, just higher batting stats, um, after 75 GI. I don't think AOVR takes into account the GI distributions. Uh, so, you know, I prefer more batting stats after GI and more, uh, Loken Vell after GI. And I don't think AOVR does that. Um, but it will get us in the ballpark. And then we want to include all currently available because that's where we're going. So let's just take a look at this lineup. Um, batters, we got the Gary Carter. Bell 21 at first. Uh, this is why it's great to have Harmon Kilbrew. This is a good card. Actually, this is a really good card. Um, you know, 74 con, 76 pow, 72 I. Uh, but we're going to run the legend out there. Second base. Wow, uh, you see this has like a really high field. I'll have to take a look at other second basemen to see if there's anyone better than Hernandez. Rendon 19, obviously Rendon has a bunch of great cards. I have so many third basemen though, like Rendon is probably not in the plays for me. Trey Turner is in fact the best Trey Turner card. Uh, Harper 15 is his best card, and wow, that is way better than the one I'm running out there right now. Uh, wow, look at that. Way better distribution. 
Um, one thing I can do is I can go to the sandbox and I can pull up the Bryce Harper 17 that I'm running. Oop. There we go. Sorry, we'll have to. I guess we'll have to do it this way, 15, and then we can set both of their GIs to 75, and we can see what the difference looks like. I uh, don't need the Bryce Harper Prime. Yeah, so you see he has eight more con, 12 more I, and only, or, tw yeah, eight more pow, 12 more I, uh, one less con on the 15. Wow, that's crazy. Um, uh, let's just go back. So, you know, if I were to pull the 15 sig, maybe I would run that one out there instead. Guerrero, I believe he has a sig. Uh, yes, he does. Really good stats. Um, but also, he's an outfielder. So I am about to be full up in the outfield. Well, maybe not full up. If I were to pull that SIG, I could, you know, obviously um, move the normal Juan Soto out of there. Another good card. Uh, DH, Parish 79. I'll have to look, you know, just try to find that card. Don't know who that is. Um, but again, my DH spot is full, right? My DH, my third base, and my one base are full. Outfield, we got two spots full. Uh, the rest of the infield and catcher, we could use a SIG. Um, yeah, let's go. And then these, it doesn't really matter what's going on here. These are just like technically the next five best cards. Uh, it's nice to see Lane Thomas there. He used to be a Cardinal. We traded him for uh, John Lester. So, glad to see he's a, a top card for them right now. Cordero, Oliver, it looks like it's a bunch of vintages. So, this doesn't matter as much. Now, let's look at starting pitchers. You see Max Scherzer is, apparently, he's the highest A over. We can look at Scherzer years next. Uh, Strasburg has a lot of really good cards. Would love to get his 17 out there. Uh, Facero, 96. That looks like a pretty good card, but the stash... The stat distribution is a lot of stamina and fastball, which I don't love. Makes, um, you know, I might have to look at other, I might have to look at other Nationals decks. Uh, Corbin 19, base 72, but really good distribution. Then Captain America Steve Rogers, uh, really high stamina again with low velocity. So I might have to take another look through this lineup um, and make sure that that actually is all true. Doolittle has a better card. Rainey has, I have the best card. What year Melanson do I have? Do I have 16? Is that what I'm running out there? Yep, 16. So best year Melanson, that's nice. Uh, Cordero, Chad Cordero, he has a prime. Uh, Low Vel, but we can work with that. Reardon, really high fastball, don't love that. Uh, and a little bit higher stamina. It just makes it really hard to get a Finn train, which Finn is just better in the bullpen. Um, Daniel Hudson has a decent card. Then Blake Tryon, and uh, I think I have his 2016 year. So this bullpen is just not great um, overall. It It's not too much worse than the Cardinals bullpen, though, if I'm being honest. So, yeah, that's what we're looking at. Glad we already have the Scherzer. Need to work on upgrading this starting rotation. Um, yeah, but that's what Washington deck looks like. Check. Okay. All right, let's finish this up. I have decided where to go with these premium skill change tickets. I picked up the last one. Um, the new update is out, but I don't have it running here. Uh, as far as skill change tickets go, at the end of the day, I'm going to need to do all of them, right? I'm going to have to do max. I'm going to have to do killer. You know, kill brew. I'm going to have to do uh, Brett and Jones, and so there's no point in saving. I think Scherzer is the way to go. Um, kill brew is really doing okay. Uh, we'll just take a look at his skills with, with Slugger, Car, Full Swing. Like, that's fine. Um, kind of a bummer. He has batters inside over there, but yeah, eventually we're going to want a Legend skill on him, but I don't think that's our highest priority. At the end of the day, uh, Scherzer, that is, I believe, his best year. You know, we, we saw that with the Nine Innings Companion, but we all can also go check it out in Collections.
we can go check it out in collections and just look at all our Scherzer years. So 17, 96, 97 on Locavell, uh, 98, 94, so it's close, but not quite. 92, 91's way, low, way lower, 94, 95 is lower, 97, 92 is lower. So yeah, so this is the best Max Scherzer year. So let's just treat them like it is the best Max Scherzer year. You know, let's get them. Uh, let's get him his skills. We got to get slow starter or um, control master and it's going to take a lot of tickets. It's going to take more than it would take to get uh, Harmon Kilbrew a good set. But that's fine. Um, we're going to have to do it eventually. So We only have three right now. Uh, we'll just keep farming. I'm not going to be spending um, ranked coins on premiums on this account because I still need to work on getting ranked training done. That's way higher priority. Uh, ranked training is a guaranteed upgrade. Premium skill change tickets are like a 1 in 10 chance of hitting a legend skill and then a 2 in 7 chance of that being a good legend skill. So, um, you know, it's you just take the ranked training. It's a much better use of coins. And then that's even, you know, you have to hit levels with that too, right? You gotta get good levels. Like, uh, luckily this bullpen day set has good levels. Um, next up, skill change tickets. There's so many people who need them. Honestly, I'm kind of fine with where the offense is at. We want to work on this bullpen. Uh, winning streak on Melanson. Yeah, let's pop open a skill storage and just try to get him some so immediately here we see setup man but weaker supporting skills we'll, we'll start by changing here um i did just craft a premium skill change ticket so let's see boss last boss is better than anything over here for the setup role uh so i'm fine going down below three here just i have like a week until i can craft another one of these things so might as well spend them Touch fin. Okay, so we are actually going to keep this. Touch isn't great in the bullpen, but this deck needs a lot of help. And untouchable finesse pitcher as a one-two combo. Um, that should be pretty good on him. And that should really work in setup. Uh, let's see. Do little. We can just change these. We're not relying on it too much. I could also work in closer. I think that's where I had him put uh, when I changed it. That was a couple days ago for me. So streak mess. That can work in closer for where this deck is at. Um, let me check this line up where I have everybody. Okay, cool. So I'd put suitor in closer because he has streak touch. Um, and we're about to be able to get uh, touchable to seven. Uh, so that's not ideal, but it's the best we have. Uh, then we have Rainy at setup with Fireballer. Then we have Melanson with Touchfin in setup. And that should be a pretty good uh, hold down for the bullpen for this deck. So we can start putting skill change tickets somewhere else. Um, yeah, and that should just about do it. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate the support. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, and tell me what you think of the new deck. Tell me what you think of me doing Washington Nationals. Uh, I thought it was a fun deck. You know, there's a lot of people in D.C. There's So I, I feel like there are probably some fans. So I feel like their team's not represented here on YouTube. Um, so I had to go, go show out. Go show out. And yeah, I guess we'll just end on this view of the deck. Let's get a clip of it now. And let's see a year from now. Let's see where, it, where it's at. Let's see what we can do with it. So I will finish off there and talk to you guys next week.